It is a painstaking process, but more than two centuries on, the Dutch soil is finally giving up the secrets of one of Britain's least distinguished military campaigns. Emerging from the mud, the remains of British soldiers who perished in a war that most people have never heard of. Their resting place only discovered when an extension was being dug to the canal outside the city of Vinanen, and a local archaeologist made a grim discovery. We were almost done, and uh, then my colleague saw a little piece of bone sticking out of the, the slope of the canal. And um, so we started to dig, and it turned out to be a skeleton. So they continued digging and found another skeleton, then another, and another. In fact, a row of fallen soldiers, 81 in all, believed to be British infantrymen, dispatched to Holland to fight the invading French in 1792. For me as an archaeologist, uh, you never find something like this, never. This conflict came before the Napoleonic Wars and was known as the First War of the Coalition, with British troops joining Dutch, Prussian and Austrian forces in a disastrous attempt to halt the French advance. Historian Andrew Roberts says the British contingent suffered badly and not only on the battlefield. It was marshy, uh, boggy at, uh, in places. People caught dysentery, malaria, um, uh, lots of them died of typhus. It was a, a really awful and very unpopular campaign back in Britain as well. Local records show during that conflict a British field hospital stood near this site. Some of the remains appear to have sore marks from crude surgery. Those seeking answers say it's hard not to be affected by the age of those who perished here. Especially now that we suspect that they were British boys. They were far from home in a strange land. I can only imagine what they felt and experienced. Tests to confirm the date and nationality of the remains will be conducted in the UK, with the Dutch archaeologists saying they now believe they located a second mass grave nearby. Paul Davis, News at 10.